Pistol Pete claims that a band of thugs have taken over his hometown of Rhodia. He wants us to save Rhodia by showing them who's boss and running them out of town. So last episode we arrived in Rhodia, and it looks like a big ol' map, so I'm trying to explore a bit. So I'm doing the usual strategy of just... Eh, like a kindergartner coloring... General in. announcement, everybody. Just got a big order in from New Washington. Everybody will be working double shifts until it ships. Thanks. There's Dengler. So just like a uh, kindergartner trying to color in between the lines, I'm going to outline things and try to fill things in afterwards. Just to try to cover all this territory and see what we're working with. One man's trash is another man's treasure. And this trash is a Betamax tape and some scrap. Well, who throws away scrap? New thugs, why aren't you wearing leather like the rest of them? I don't want to wear leather. Unless I have to. Excuse me, Mr. Jerk, can you spare a bullet or two? I'm trying to get food for my baby. Beat it, you beggar. Why don't you go work for your bullets like everyone else? I did, you took them. Their entire economy is bullets. Are they all walking off together now? No, they're not. They're walking off in random directions. It's, uh, we got the Metro 2033 economy where the entire economy is based in bullets. Which is slightly problematic because then you have a firefight and no one's got bullets. I gotta say, Sally got a lot more- Scary Sally got a little bit more scary when she started running around with a giant rod all the time. Her rebar staff. What is this? Hospital. Can I go inside? A door. You've seen, you've seen many like them. I always, I always think I'm about to inspect the actual location. A bare bones clinic. A waiting room with mismatched folding chairs, an infirmary, and a surgery. The decor isn't much, but it's spotlessly clean. In the waiting room, a middle-aged couple cling to each other and stare at the curtain that hides the infirmary. A small cinder block building, painted white, with a red a cross on the door. Painted beside the door is a the word clinic. You can smell the disinfectant all the way out here. Well, at least they're using some. That's a good sign. And she's crying. Ethylene. Sagma. We got a sick boy in there and the doctor won't let us in. Why can't we see our boy? I mean, why can't... Oh, why can't we see our Tom? Who's Tom? Our boy, it... It just ain't fair. First his fiance dies just before their wedding, and now he's sick too. We were praying the doctor could help, but now... Who's the doctor? Horchata is his name. He's a bit funny looking. But he always done right by this town. The sickness, though, I ain't never seen him so stumped. Tell us about the sickness. Ain't right that this illness should only hurt us farmers. Life is hard enough for us already. That's not really telling us anything. All right, is there anything we can do to help? I don't know what a bunch of gunslingers can do for a sick man, but if you know a cure, nah, you ain't healing the kid. I can tell. Well. You could get rid of the jerks that have taken over our town. If our Tom ever gets better, I don't want him living in a place run by the likes of them. We don't have a cure, but we can ask around. If you think you can help, talk to the doc. He's stumped. Tell us about the jerks. That damn fool Sam, our mayor, brought him in as security against those robot people. Now we can't get rid of him. The big ape old biggin and his little chimp sidekick, Dengler, Parasites is what they are. Ticks. You, bl you blame the mayor for this. Or Sam has a head for bi- uh, Old Sam has a head for business, but he never had a lick of sense about people. He's to blame for all this. I'm glad he's up there in that tower. You approve of your towers being used as a gibbet? Why not? Those towers always used to give me hope. When I seen them from afar, but now, with them jerks crawling all over them, and the radio smashed, I don't know, I just don't know. What happened to the radio? Damn jerks smashed it as soon as they came to town. Now we can't call around to see if any other town's got a cure for the sickness. What do you know about Obigan? Fat bastard ain't get right in the head. But the others follow him because he'd eat him if he didn't. That's concerning. Tell us about Dengler. If you ask me, he's got the brains of the outfit. He certainly ain't the heart, though. Never seen a man so cold. Alright, so we've got psychopaths running the joint. Fun times had by all. Why am I... Stop yawning. Stop it. Wait, who are you? Some asshole. Alright, well, he's a dick. 
A narrow room with a row of beds along each wall. Four beds are occupied, two have unconscious farmers in them on IV drips. Another has a wounded leather jerk, and the fourth has a young man who is pale and sweating, but awake and aware. An old bed sheet has been fashioned into a curtain. The jerk isn't wearing any pants, and it looks like someone chewed him a new asshole, literally. Whoa. Yes, I'm embarrassed. Fuck you, Hard 8. <laughs> um, sorry. Where's the doctor at? Over here? Now oh, I suddenly got a way better view of the whole area by walking in here. Alright. Let everyone come back out here. I'll close the curtain. There's a safe in here. What's here? Carefully examine the crate. You find a lock. Alright, let's close the curtain behind us. Don't want anyone spotting us. Lock picking. Come on. You can do it, right? Ta-da! Sweet, sweet medical. A working tumbler. Just continue along this trend. I'm robbing your medical goods. That's a really scummy thing to do, but also I kind of need them to... Coral hydrate. This stuff will knock out anyone who drinks it. Ooh! And a first aid kit. Packed with things a skilled medic can use for, uh, to save lives. Who knows what you'll do with it. <laughs> Chloral hydrate. I feel like I can use that to knock somebody out as part of the story. That could be handy. Everyone come back out. Alright. So what's in the last one? His face is gaunt, his eyes dull. Are mom and dad still out there? They're in the waiting room. I wish they'd go home. I told H Dr. Horchata Hor Hor not to let them not, not them see me like this. I don't want him to catch the sickness. He's real fucked up looking. You think the sickness is contagious? Maybe it took my fiance. And the way I'm feeling right now, I wish I could. T I wish it would take me. Dr. Horchata says I should have gone home. I should have hope, but. Why do I want to go on when Lana's gone? What do you think of Dr. Horchata? If anyone can save us, it's the doc. I don't know why he's bothering with me, though. I got nothing to live for. So he's of great opinion of himself. Medical supplies. Nobody noticed that, right? Cool. See you later. Everyone just keep quiet about that. It's cool. Alright. Close that fucking curtain. Do you want the patient to see this? Patience? Oh, the dead person? Hang on a second. I got it. A man in a blood-stained white uh, coat stands in an operating table conducting an autopsy on the corpse of a little girl. It's a horrific sight. The child's torso is laid open and long worms trail out of the incisions in her stomach and intestines. They curl on the ground in pools of bile and blood. Pleasant. Let's see here. Just taking a quick look around. Looking like a lunatic all, all, around, all along. Let's talk doctor to doctor. The doctor's craggy, handsome face is distorted by a set of mismatched eyes. One is normal, the other is golf ball huge. Is a golf ball large for an eye? I feel like that's actually about right. Maybe not. Uh, and seems to gaze around on its own. Despite that, his ex expression is kind. Maybe they just mean it's circular, because obviously that's not what eyes are shaped like in their exposure. Great. More gun toting thugs. Just what this town needs. Now are you to help? Are you here to help or help yourselves? You seem to have a lot of patience. Yes. As if the leather jerks weren't plagued enough, Rodan uh, Rodia is being attacked by a parasite born sickness. We've already lost more than 10 people, mostly farmers, and a dozen more are sick. I've got to find out where these fucking worms are coming from and fast. The leather jerks are making more work for you? Oh Jesus, there's a lot to go- we're gonna go through a lot here. Between Obigan and Dengler and the sickness? Yes, indeed. Gun games and poxed hookers and in the casino. 
taking bullets to the bank, you won't be surprised that the incident, uh, incidents of venereal disease and bullet wounds have gone up alarmingly. Our beloved mayor has a lot to answer for, though I guess he's paying the price. Wish someone would do something. Why don't you do something? I'm doing all I can right here. You can do something, though. I just hope it's not something stupid and violent that's gonna give me even more, uh, gonna give me more hurt people to heal. You blame the mayor. Poor Sam was too trusting. He never imagined his peacekeepers were going to take over and hang him from the precious radio towers. A good example of why one shouldn't trust strangers. Stranger. What do you know about Rodia's radio? I know jerks smashed it as soon as they took over. I wish Virgil would get it up and running again. Then I could call around to see if somebody besides the mana rights has a microscope. But the leather jerks smashed the radio as soon as they took over. I guess they don't want us calling for help. What do you know about the mana rights? I used to be one. We had a falling out. Falling out, huh? They didn't like that I swore and told people exactly what I thought. No bedside manner, they said. They're selective about who they let in their hospital, too. Which amounts to deciding who deserves to live or die. Well, fuck that and fuck them. That's possum shit, plain and simple. So basically, they would decide whether or not some people were worth saving for their own weird moral reasons instead of just saving people in general. Who's Virgil? Rhodia's general fix-it man. Good with radio tech. If anyone can get a radio up and running, again, it would be him. You're probably gonna need to do some work for him first, though. What were you saying about the bank? I was saying the bank has gone insane. Bullets is currency. Where's the sense in that? Damn fools sp spent a bullet to shoot, to shoot somebody, then have to spend more bullets to get him to pull it out. You ask me that Dengler was behind this, too. We traded scrap like everybody else until those leather jer jerks showed up. What's up with the casino? As, a, as if a man doesn't take enough chances in his life. What's your opinion on the hookers in the casino? Can't say I approve of their trade, but they keep me in business. What's up with... Well, tell me more about the sickness. The parasites seem to affect farmers more than anyone else. I don't know if it's their diet or their work, or what. I've collected samples from the possible sources of River Town, but I need a better microscope to find out which one's a culprit. How will you a microscope help? These worms in their larval state are too small to see with the naked eye, so I can't search uh, for them in the food, clothes, or or the dirt in town. The microscope will help me find them, I hope. Do you have any zeolite? Ha! <laughs> I wish. I'd love to have some medical grade stuff on hand, but Hollywood and those pistol packing priests in Griffith Park snatched up most of it long ago. So I gotta make it to the I gotta make it with cat litter, but even that is getting scarce. We're looking for cat litter, you got any? I'm assuming you want this as a cure for radiation, not because you have cats at home. Well, I have some, but it's precious stuff. It would take some convincing for me to part with it. What what would convince you? Probably probably wiping out this uh freeing this town. Well, helping me find a cure for these poor folks might do it. You do that, and I'll give you half the cat litter I got. What do you think of Rhodia? This could be a nice town if everybody just let us be. Guess life was too good here, and people started wanting to take it from us. Who's Obigan? Jerk says their leader, but I pulled a bullet out of him last week, and he doesn't have the sense of the good lord to, pay to give a rock. Oh, he doesn't have the good, sorts the good sense that the lord gave a rock. If you ask me, that Dengler guy is the brains of the operation. And, okay, what about Dengler? Sneaky little devil with shifty eyes. He's got to be the one who made the deal with the mayor, Obigan. Oh, with the mayor. Obigan doesn't have the brains. Anything we could do to help? Well, if you're so inclined, I need a mi working microscope. That's the only way I'm going to find out how the worms are getting into the people's stomach. And the Manorites have one in their hospital, but I'm no longer welcome there. All right, so we have a. I gotta go back to work. So we have a reason. An evil-looking man who does good work. Surely 
There is a lesson there. Yes, Corin. Thank you for the subtlety. <laughs> Close that fucking curtain. Do you understand that we have to open it to go through it, right? This is the only way in and out? Alright, thanks. Just thought we could clarify that real quick. So, he needs help curing people, but also he, I'm sure, wants the villains out of here too. And we have our source of cat litter. And also there's purple stuff over there. Oh, that must be the casino. That must be why it's purple over there. But we're, we're gonna keep hugging the wall for now. Hey, give me some bullets. Huh? Why? We're protecting you, ain't we? Some protection. Wise guy, huh? You looking for trouble? Okay, okay, here. Only four bullets? What a loser. Everything sucks here all the time. And they live here, so that sucks too. Maybe we can just get all these people to come to where we live. None of these guys are there. Granted, whenever I'm not in town, no one's defending the place, so... Um, whoops. You hear Satan escaped? What? I feel like I need some more premise there, like who Satan is, and why they were imprisoned, besides being named Satan, and how one is going to go about uh, capturing them. I just realized, rather stupidly, uh, like last episode we got a book. Painting. Nope. Is it over here? Your friend the Great Glow? I'm sorry, we got a book that was like the... A Brief History of the World last episode? I never checked it out. It's over here. Betamax Tape, Kama Sutra book. Whoa. Where's this Brief History of the World? Searching five inventories is kind of a pain in the ass. Is there anyone... Angry Management for Angry Managers? Am I missing where it would be? Sriracha, Tank Tread... Is it just gone? It's kind of a bum- it really is a bummer having to search this many inventories. Alright, we'll go nice and slow. Bloodstained journal. Faded photograph. They make it about as hard as possible to find things in here, huh? Oh, it's down- it's down here, isn't it? Nope, that's an unusual bow. I just noticed that there was a slight bit of scroll bar over there, and it doesn't let you do it from certain angles. Animal husbandry for that animal whisperer skill, but no one's really training in that right now. I don't see it anywhere. Didn't we get a brief history of the world slash universe from having that person a rifle? I don't see evidence of it existing in my inventory. I feel like I've looked everywhere. What the hell? Not sure what's going on there. Oh well. I guess I'll just move on with my life. Oh, um, maybe- Oh, it was probably just junk. Wow, she just- After all that trouble, she gave me junk as my reward. I was hoping that it was some kind of, uh, skill book. It's my bad. It's locked. Let's see. Hopefully we don't get caught, but I would like to... Lockpick this thing. Hopefully it doesn't explode or anything. Sweet critical success. Who's ooh, is that corpses? Okay, there's a lot going on here. Let's scroll a little bit. It uh, as tidy as out as it is in. Neat, well-maintained furniture, a small but clean kitchen, but the the buzzing of flies is louder in here. It seems to be coming from the other side of the kitchen table. Two people and a baby lie on the floor. The woman holds the baby in her arms, the man holds the woman. It looks like a family portrait except for the bullet holes in their heads of the man and the woman. The man has a pistol in his hand. The little girl did not die from violence. It looks like she was sick. Oh. It seems like the, a horrifying image created by the people that are here, but... It's actually totally possible that the uh, baby died of the, of the illness that's going around, and then the parents just killed themselves out, out of grief. Which These is up. Look, epidemic plague outbreak under the weather. Dried blood splatters on in the table's otherwise spotless surface. There is an open letter stuck to the blood. Can't seem to actually find the blood. The letter, though. All right. Don't think there's anything else in here besides the horrible scene itself. 
What a all these shacks around here of awful garbage, and then there's a really nice house in there, and of course those are the people that are that have killed themselves. Let's see. There's a lock on this door too. This place looks like it was once part of a much bigger house, but the back half collapsed from neglect. Now it has an open plan and a nice back porch. Go and pop this one open too. Don't shoot us! Hi. Jack on Red Queen, Hogarth. Hogarth? Three cards can predict the future. They're telling me I never win. Why don't I ever cheat? Oh, too old to work the fields, too stubborn to die. Oh, now I can talk to them. I can tell your fortune, strangers. Do you want to know? Sure. Huh. All red cards. Smells like blood for sure. Alright. So that didn't amount to much. He's just a crazy. Talking about the future. Alright. Might as well switch to Sally and get some digging done. This map. We're gonna be here for a while. This map just goes on for ages. Uh, burned book. Some ammo. Can I keep going or is there- Yep, there's a cutoff right here. Okay, so that's as far north as I can go. But there's so much, there's so much blank left on the map that you can probably go even further north from a different spot. Another plague. This town is beset. It's almost biblical. We find a lock. All right, hundred percent chance. Getting a little weird. How many locks there are now? What are you trying to lock your houses? Like you don't want people in them? That's weird. <laughs> Old furniture. Old worn furniture fills this little house. Poor, but not shoddy. It looks like the housework has been neglected lately, though. There is dust on everything, and empty tequila bottles are piled up by the wash basin. There is a bed in the far corner. You can hear wheezing from it. I'd like to be alone with my wife. The poor woman looks like hell. And she's hot to the touch. She doesn't wake when you shake her. They're just hanging out and dying in here, and I just had to... Listen up, people. Commander O'Biggin wants me to tell you that shortages in the warehouse will not be tolerated. Anyone caught skimming will be beat like a rug, then hung out to dry by the front gate. Thanks. Dengler seems to like talking on, on behalf of Biggin, who they've said is not really someone that's actually good at this. The man is throwing bodies into the fire. Grave digger. Stand back, strangers. You don't want to catch the sickness these people had. Who are all these people you're burning? Folks who fell the sickness. We're seeing two or three bodies every night. It's gotten out of hand. If you ask me, and somebody should do something. Have you thought about doing something yourself? I'm no doctor. So this is what I can do. Maybe if you got some skills, you can help Dr. Horchata find a cure. Just see him down at the clinic. Why are you burning bodies instead of burying them? Takes a while to bury each one indep independently, and they start stacking up. Dr. Horchata was worried the sickness would spread e even more if the bodies were left out, so I s we started burning them. Stay safe, strangers. These bodies look diseased. They seem to have died recently, too. Yeah, let's get away from that, now that we've rubbed our bodies all over them. Gross. See how this map expands as we loop around here? What happened? Some fool tried to rob the bank. Did he get away with much? Looks like he got away with a handful of 9mm, a 45, and some buckshot on the spine. <laughs> He's trying to rob bullets, and then he got filled with bullets, because that's how they defend the bullets, was with bullets. <laughs> well... They're certainly simple around here. He's got nine millimeters and some sniper shots. Yep, that's actually I just I I technically just made more profit than he did trying to rob the bank. I just made like I actually didn't check how much it was, but probably like fifteen bullets. A flimsy scrapwood building with the word "bank" painted on the front wall it doesn't look strong enough to stand up on its own, let alone protect anyone's money. The door is open. Armed leather jerks stand on either side of it. 
eyeing anyone who goes in or out. The jerk is fidgeting as if he has an itch he can't scratch. Nothing better than being pained to be a jerk. Keep walking, sheep. These guys are friendly. Howdy, y'all. A few leather jerks guard the front half of the bank. The back half is behind a teller cage made of chicken wire and an old mahogany bar. A locked door at one end of the bar lets authorized personnel into the cage. At one window, a teller waits, and behind her, you see the bank pres president's office and a massive iron safe, half sunk into the shattered floor and wide open. There's an open safe? And they just, it's just open? Obviously, there's all the gun people around here, but if I, uh, if I was able to get past them, that'd be something I could deal with. Out of the way, peasants. So friendly. A prim woman in an often patched pantsuit. She looks more proper than helpful. Would you like to make a deposit? A withdrawal? Exchange currency? Ooh, exchange currency. Can I change ammo into other kinds of ammo? Certainly, but I'm afraid we're a bit short on cash, so we can only convert coins into bullets. Not the other way around. Have, have a look at her rates. Isn't that just a store? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just a bullet store is what this is. How much do these go for per bullet, by the way? I'm curious, because it's the ammo. So it's nine dollars. It's a nine scrap per bullet for the sniper rifle I'm still currently using. Uh, let's sell junk. Crap. That was a mistake. Unless it just didn't sell our junk. Did it just not do it? Yeah, we still have junk in our inventory. Okay, never mind. I blinked for a second there and hit the sell junk button even though they said they couldn't do that. That was a mistake. I don't think that much is going to be going on at the bank today. That seems like the type of thing that we'll follow up on after we liberate this place if we can. What's that say? Crater? Oh, crater. What's at the crater? I guess I'll find out. Great news, everybody. We're holding a harvest contest. The farmer who delivers the most agave to the distillery by sundown tonight gets a hundred bullets first prize. Second prize is you get to keep your farm. Third prize is full-time employment on my farm, which used to be yours. So get busy, yokels. Thanks. Alright, we're gonna have to kill Dengler, because he's a scumbag. Go back to the fields, farm boy. I'm no farmer, I repair toasters. Not anymore, you don't. Everybody's a farmer now. Get going. That agave won't grow itself. Jerk. No, it's a toaster repairman. I need him in my life. Come back, join our quad. Squad. A huge, deep, roughly circular crater that has been almost completely planted with agave with a few possum pens here and there. Parts of the terraces have been fenced off into allotments, each a farm fam each a small family farm, but there's only there's one huge farm which takes up a fat pie slice of the southern end of the crater. So maybe this will just be one huge farm area in the north. If it's a big undetailed farm area, this might be not take us as long to explore as I thought. Look at this that. This crop must be nourishing if everyone is planting it. That's a lot of agave. I'm trying to think, is agave even edible? I actually don't remember. Don't remember much about agave. In a plot of land not much, not much bigger than a blanket, a sturdy young blonde with dreadlocks weeds a little vegetable patch. She seems... she hums as she works, and she doesn't look up. It's Jess over here. That's the same dialogue again. What do you want? Apparently nothing, so I'll see you later. So she has, she looks like she has cabbage patches? And I think that looks like, that looks like corn maybe? So it's a little hard to tell from this level of detail. That is a lot of agave though. I genuinely don't know if agave is even edible. Everything up here is, I think. Virgil, oh hey, we're looking for you. Now I'm gonna have to find, have to find him and bring him back. An older, powerfully built man with intense eyes and close-cropped gray hair. He is standing next to a broken fence and cursing under his breath as you approach. My prize bull possum, Satan, has broken out of his pen again. 
Gotta find him before he tears somebody up. You want us to save... Satan? Please, he's the biggest, most honorary possum you ever saw. But he's also the best damn stud in the crater. And worth his weight in gold. I gotta get him back before one of the other farmers gets hurt or guns him down in self-defense. You need some help finding him. If you want to find him uh, and hurt him back this way, stranger, I'd be much obliged. Might even be able to pay you something for your troubles. You get him moving by giving him one of these possum snacks. He loves the snacks. But if you harm him or kill him, you and me can have some words. And I got too much in invested. In I got too much invested in that old possum. You have any cat litter? What do you want that for? Oh, wait. For radiation, right? Well, I'm afraid we don't got, get much radiation around here, so we don't hoard it. Dante might have some. Keeps cats to keep their rats away from his, gr uh, his agave. All right, that's interesting. He believes in Satan, but does he worship him? That was a weird moment, dude. You know we're not talking about actual Satan, dude, right? Oh well. We'll fill him in eventually. Or not. Let him just be crazy all the time. Oh yeah, we're filling the map in real fast. Okay. The fact that the, this whole top area is just a giant farm makes the size of the map less intimidating. Because like half of the map is this huge open green area, which is visually striking, but it's not going to make spend. It's not going to take a very long time to explore. Keep an eye out for a possum. Do not listen to Dugan, Los Angeles. Do not let fear turn you into his slave. The future he envisions will never happen, and he will never rule it. For I and my children. We'll burn his pathetic dreams to ashes in the blazing glory of our golden future. Dugan wants to enslave humanity. I want to save humanity. In my future, humans will be perfect beings. Immortal, invulnerable gods with gleaming metal skin. In Dugan's future, humanity will be fuel for his forges. Bring him no offerings, Los Angeles. Worship not at his altar. He is a false god. And I, Matthias, shall cast him down. It's too bad they have some place down here that's practically paradise. It's the most radiation- in many ways it's the most radiation-free and safe and populated area that we've expo been uh, exposed to so far. And it's full of a bunch of crazy factions that all have apocalyptic end of the world, our way or nothing else orders, and they're all going to be fighting it out and ruining it for everyone. When well, it's not enough for us to survive, apparently. A split rat fence surrounds a tiny possum corral. Not that the possums are tiny, they're huge. But the corral is only a tiny square of mud, and grass in the middle of the endless plots of agave. Inside the corral, an old woman shovels possum shit, while an albino possum runt bumbles around her ankles mewling. Haven't quick saved for a while. Hello? Ah, Pete, where are you? An older woman, clothed in rags, rags her face deeply carved by wind and weather. She mumbles to herself as she works. Did, did he say Pete? I think this is Pete's wife, or someone close to that. You don't look like our usual sort of jerk. Hope you're nicer than the ones we got now. Those jerks have left the poor mayor caged up in the towers for days. Don't know why they don't let him down or just kill him. Somebody should do something. You don't blame the mayor for this. Not really, he's just a natural born fool. He brought those jerks in as protection against the, me the metal men. Now they're taking over, our poor town. Metal men? Robot people, whatever they call them, they're, me they're a menace. Stole some possums I was selling. Never gonna get them, but never get my money that money back. Uh, not in a million. Metal men stole your possums? That's a little weird. We're not gonna have a follow-up question about that. What do you think of the Rodia Towers? Those towers have been a symbol of Rodia's hope since before the apocalypse. 
Now them leather jerks have turned them into some kind of uh, Golgotha. They're just using different words here. Gibbet, Golgotha, jail. And they smashed the radio They they used to that uh, used to connect us to the outside world. What do you think of the jerks? Why do you think the jerks smashed the radio? To trap us here. To keep us calling for help. Or no one what's happening to the rest of the world. Have you thought about doing something? Oh no, not me. I'm not a fighter, not like my husband, but maybe you? Or are you just a bunch of jerks? Who's your husband? He's a traveling gun salesman, Pistol Pete Peterson. He calls himself. He was out on a trip and I fear the worst has happened to him. We've seen him at Santa Fe Springs. He's alive and well. He's alive. Well, thank you, strangers. You've set my heart at ease. I feel like I can breathe the first time in weeks. Well, you tell him, if you see him, that I'm still alive too. Those jerks haven't killed me yet. So what do you know about the jerks? Came down out of the north like some kind of plague. Oh, they promised to help, but they've only made things worse. Bringing drugs and horrors and sickness, making everybody farm agave instead of wholesome vegetables and possum. So you're a possum farmer. I've been raising possum since I was younger than you. And thank the Lord for the appetites of that fat monster biggin. The jerks ha have forced me to stop. He likes possum meat so much I'm selling him a cow every two days. What do you think of a biggin? That man ain't right in the head. Big as a house and mine like a child. Glad he likes my possum steaks though. It, it uh, kept me safe when others have had terrible dr uh, troubles. This guy basically sounds like a job with a hut at this point. You don't like farming agave. That's beside the point. The jerks think that they're going to get it rich selling tequila. So they've told everyone to grow agave. And agave ain't good for eating. Only good for the damn still. Damn fools. How are all their field slaves going to work without any food in their bellies? We'll all be dead and they'll be broke. Yeah, I figured as much. I didn't think agave was a food, really. You think the sickness is the jerk's fault? I don't know. But it were it uh wasn't here before they got here. My nephew's got it, and I ain't got no idea what it, what to do about it. It's enough to break a wary old heart. All I can do is pray that Doctor Horchata knows what he's doing. Don't know what's wrong with his face, but there ain't nothing wrong with his mind. He's the smartest man in Rodia. If anyone can cure us, it's him. Hope I'll see you again, strangers. What's that? A bag of cat litter? She mad at us or anything? No, we just wandered over and picked one up. Alright. That's a starting point. We went and found some cat litter as we needed. I guess I'll take a look at the crater itself. See what goes on there. Uh, might as well investigate the crater. I'm quick saving in case I get attacked by that possum we're supposed to save. And it doesn't work out for me. Hey, everybody. Oh, can I not go in the crater? Oh, there was just a small ledge there that I couldn't see. How funny would it be if there was a mine in the agave, agave? I'm like, why would you put a mine here? Oh, that's probably the possum we're after. Just gonna do a quick lap around here to take a look. Hello. Yeah, we're gonna have to give that guy some, some of the uh, snacks that we got to try to lure him back. Nine millimeter and a cosmum. Sounds like a fun night. No, it doesn't. Admire. Beneath faded artwork, an inscription reads, Mega Cynics. All shall be revealed in time. Dracogen. Oh, wow. Everyone in the squad get a bonus skill point. That's plenty handy. Granted, slightly less handy than it was the first time around when it started happening. Is that a... Can't go there from here? There seems to be a sewer over there. I'm wondering how many weird places we're going to find around here. He says, I will enslave you and he will save you. It is he who is the slaver. He promises you everlasting life as a perfected human. What he means is everlasting slavery. He will never make you his equal. He will never allow you free will. You will be his children, his slaves, forever. And I... I don't want to enslave you. I want to destroy you. But at 
least you will have your freedom until your doom comes upon you. Don't let Matthias trick you into eternal torment, Los Angeles. Die free. Wow, some of these guys are just insane. That's not even a reasonable argument. Well, I just... He may want to save you, but I want to kill all of you, so you should... You should... I don't know. He's not even saying work for me. He's just saying, don't trust that guy, because... I'll kill you guys. That's pretty sweet, right? Sweet gig there. It's surprisingly hard to walk around here. A lot of the paths are blocked off, and you can't really tell the... the, the uh, it's a little hard to tell the height changes. SV... Wow. It's the type of uh, rifle I already replaced, but that is straight up the, uh... That's a high-value rifle right there. Makes me really even more regret buying one in the first place. Oh, well. Go ahead and strip this one. Broken weapon parts. No luck there. But it's lighter, at least. That's a big crater. Please repeat, ma'am. What's the situation again? It's them! God's militia bastards! They got my son! Where do they have your son, ma'am? In the town square. They set up one of their tent shows down there, and they've been preaching and recruiting all day. But now they got my boy, and they say they're going to make an example of him. They say he's a sinner. Thank you, ma'am. And don't worry. We won't let your son die. Ranger Team Echo is on the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I love my boy. Echo 1, this is Santa Fe Base. Come in. This is Echo 1. Go ahead, over. Roger, Echo 1. Did you copy that transmission? Copy. Over. 10-4, sending you the coordinates now. And we need this handled correctly, Echo 1. This is a great chance to get another look at these gods and militia creeps. And raise our rep at the same time. Don't mess it up. All right, Santa, Santa Monica. So, Santa Fe Base, when are you going to recruit a second crew of people so you can actually accomplish all these goals? Because they are stacking up like three times faster than I can do them. The crank's attached to the rope and it's hooked to a bucket. Drop the bucket in the well and turn a crank and pretty soon you have some water. I could probably use some water. Oh. Cool. I just got the disease. You taste the water before you fill your canteen. It tastes like death and sickness. Gustavo Molotov is now afflicted with the worm disease effect. Well, shit. You can feel something wiggling inside you. It can be removed with the appropriate item or by the a real doctor. Um, minus three coordination, minus three awareness. Alright, that's not good. That's not good at all. I have like just over five minutes it looks like. Let's deal with this guy over here, and I'm, not to, I'm, I'm gonna deal with this possum, and then we're gonna deal with going to that doctor, because I'm in some deep shit all of a sudden. A sewer grate oozing from a foul stench. It appears to have a locked grate preventing people from climbing inside. It's locked, with no amount of wishing will unlock it. It looks unlocked from here. Oh well. Alright, so... Clearly, the worms are in the water supply. That was easy to figure out. Hello. Possum I snacks. I did not expect to find the devil in the guise of a possum. But he does seem fairly demonic. Is he just gonna follow us around now? Yep, that wasn't too bad. We'll just walk him on back. Sally, go ahead and dig this up. What a magnificent mutation. Definitely gonna have to find our way back to the, uh... A bass guitar. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to find our way back to that doctor to see if we can cure our sniper before he just straight up dies. Cause that would be bad. I just... I'm not entirely sure. I just... I assume the countdown leads to his death. Because that seems to be what happens to everybody else around here. Just do the possum thing real quick. Hopefully he's not wandering off without us. Is he still drawn to us? Cool. Satan! Thank you, strangers. It's good to have the old bastard back. I don't have much, but take this as a reward. Do you have any- oh, uh, we talked about the cat litter. We're pretty much done here, alright. Hey, we received some ammo, I guess. Sweet. Alright, I'm just gonna hurry back to that hospital right now. We got a lot of map filled in today. 
But I need to find my way back to right there. Okay. Help. Help. We need help. Everyone get in here, damn it. There, I'm closing the curtain just for you. Doctor. Healing, please. That'll be three bullets. Sure, why not? Jesus Christ, why can't I just default to the right to getting three? There we go. Show me where it hurts. Alright, hopefully this gets rid of a status effect or, or I might be in trouble. There, I did what I could, but you're gonna be stuck with those worms until you can get that microscope from the mana rights. How's that work? But it has a countdown. Alright, I'm curious. I'm just gonna hang out and wait for the countdown to run out and see what happens. This is awful. It is our job, responsibility, trade, duty to help him. Um, Gustavo Molotov's no longer reflected with the worm disease. False alarm. It just wears off. Well, I thought we had a timeline. I thought we had a time limit until he died, so I was running back to the doctor because it seems like everyone's dying from it, but. Apparently, from us, it's like getting the cold, whereas everyone else is being obliterated. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna cut it off here, so thanks for watching like always. Next episode, we'll finish exploring this place and maybe deal with the actual problem itself, too. See you guys next time.